Hello friends! I really love cute accessories and sometimes I just find it easier to make them instead of looking for the perfect match in shops. So I decided to make a little hair clip and for the design I wanted something sweet and colourful so I went for a bunch of adorable tiny clowns but more on that later. I am starting by swatching out my colour pencils to choose my colour palette and also my soft pastels. I wanted to see which one looked best and how difficult it would be to colour with each one of them. The material I am using is called shrink plastic, which is basically a sheet of plastic and when you heat it, the high temperature makes the plastic molecules come closer together and the plastic shrinks and hardens. Since the plastic shrinks, I made a ruler to measure the final size in centimeters after shrinking. It is really simple, you just need to measure a few real centimeters, I did 10, and then bake it. I also wanted to see how the colors turned out after baking, so I made another kind of ruler, a little bit like a color chart. One thing that is important to take in consideration is that once the plastic is baked, the colors are more intense and vibrant because they sort of condense. For the temperature of the oven, it should be written in the packaging, but mine said 150 degrees Celsius. I personally prefer to keep an eye on it while it bakes instead of putting a timer because we never know. Basically, you can take your creation out once it flattens by itself. I then measure how big the hair clip is and based on that information, I am making the design a little bit larger I measured a frame to know how much room my drawings could take and then I started drawing. I took inspiration from a picture I found on Pinterest. The clowns looked so very charming. I am starting by sketching on paper first because you cannot really afford to make drawing mistakes on shrink plastic. Actually, if you try to raise something directly on shrink plastic, it might not be visible at first, but once it shrinks, it leaves an ugly grey stain that won't go away. Historically, there were mainly three types of clowns. The first one ever imagined is the white clown and dates back to Commedia dell'arte. He often directs the show and is dressed with a very delicate and colorful attire. He also paints his face in white to be better seen and wears elegant makeup. He's sort of the big brother in the clown family, the most responsible one even though he's very talented at making the audience laugh. The second one is called the August Clown. He might seem like he's the black sheep because he's often the target of jokes and pranks. 
He has a very grotesque and extravagant appearance. He wears mismatched clothing, huge shoes and the famous red nose is also a part of his costume. This clown embodies clumsiness and misfortune. And the last one is named the Trump Clown or the Hobo Clown. This clown draws inspiration from the Great Depression era and is associated with vagabonds and railroad travelers. He is a bit like a lonely and dreamy persona and one of the most famous Trump characters is Charlie Chaplin even though he is not exactly a clown. There are of course many more types of clowns, like the mime for example, but these three have to be the original ones. After this little interlude, I am cutting the shrink plastic to the shape I want and it is important to do it with a cutter and not a pair of scissors because they will split the sheet. In case you can't tell, I am talking from unfortunate experiences. And then in the oven it goes. Once it is done, I am sanding the smooth and shiny surface of my creation so that the paint I am going to put adheres better. I painted this side with white acrylic paint to make the colors and drawings stand out more. For the rough side of this little piece, I am applying a thick coat of UV resin to make it all very shiny and beautiful. I prefer how the drawings look on the rough side, it is neater. And then it goes under the UV lamp for as long as it needs to harden, which is around 4 to 5 minutes in my case. Last step is simply gluing the creation on the hair clip with super glue and we are done. Tell me which one of these four cuties you like the most. Thank you for spending this time with me and I will see you soon. Sweet kisses.